Hello and welcome to the Back to the Board segment. Once again, we'll be looking at some analysis as we do at the end of the Dialogue Rugby League weekends. Now, today's analysis about Hiranta Pereira. We have seen he's not a regular centre. Since Danushka Ranjan's injury, he used to come into the uh, number 12 channel or number 13 jersey. And he has been remarkably improving day in and day out. We saw his uh, running game, we saw his tackling and we saw his uh, going into contact, but we didn't see much of his kicking game. But this weekend uh, against Navy, Hiranta Pereira, when he got the ball from a rock situation, he didn't panic a little. He was trying to step two steps uh, and he was just uh, slowing down his pace because he was waiting till the Navy defence rushed into him. And he saw he has a speedster, probably the uh, fastest uh, man in Sri Lanka at the moment in the rugby circuit. And he just put the, his kick into timing. It's all about timing into perfection. And Rehan Tyagaraja, he has a great understanding with Hiranta Pereira and he scored the try. What is important here is he always wanted to get the uh, Navy defence coming into him. So uh, as a result, he made that. Now, this is the first time that Hiranta kicked something like this in this season. He has managing, he has improved in terms of his game management since, uh, like I said, Danushka Ranjan's absence. And he is now controlling the three quarters into a real threat. Despite the draw on that day, which Havelocks needed a um, much, uh, in fact, Havelocks needed a win on that day. But uh, this is what Hiranta did to something spectacular on that day. And one more thing we find out from the uh, New Zealand versus uh, South Africa IRB 7s se uh, series in Wellington, the finals. Usually in 7s rugby, when we get a scrum, usually we feed the ball. Our scrum halves feed the ball for the hooker to hook uh, the ball from his right foot. Basically, it's like this. Every time if we are attacking this side, so the hooker is here and the ball should be put from his... Uh, actually, the scrum off will stand by this side. This is quite regular in uh, everywhere, but uh, even in the school's uh, seventh series, which are concluded in the weekend, it's uh, something like that. Nobody wants to uh, switch like this. Even for like 10 years ago when I was playing, even I thought if uh, you can't put the ball from the other side, where the hooker can uh, uh, hook, it, hook the ball from his left leg. But what happened here at the finals is uh, against uh, Springboks uh, versus uh, uh, New Zealand Sevens. Uh, last minute, maybe five seconds uh, remaining on the clock, New Zealand needed a try. Gil Iskaka, instead of putting the ball into this uh, scrum uh, where the hooker can hook the ball from the leg, uh, right leg, he instead switches uh, place and he came the other side. So what happened uh, here was uh, when he put the ball in, now. Like I said, it's just five seconds remaining. So uh, when he do this, uh, he can see, all the players can see a three-on-three -three, uh, situation because there's no one in the deep because even uh, if uh, All Blacks opt to kick, they can chase and kick the ball out. So that's the end of the game. So Kaka, from this side, using the uh, ball into the uh, scrum, and then he positioned here, and it was easy to feed the ball because his opposite scrum off all the way here. So it's easy to get the three-on-three. Three. As a result, they scored a marvellous try to uh, uh, seal that victory. This is what we didn't see often. Uh, I mean, uh, our players always tend to put the ball from this side. If they put the ball from this side, what will happen is he has to turn and he, this, uh, sometimes this fly half has to place here. And uh, as a result, this will open up a more defending chance. So this guy can go to sweeper position and these people they can drift their uh, running uh, into the defend defensive terms. So this is what I didn't see or we didn't see in the entire school sevens, neither in the uh, Asian seven series where Sri Lanka played or even in the club sevens uh, tournament because this is something for us to look forward. Even, I even spoke to Sudarshan Muthutantri, the national captain yesterday, and he also agreed on this because uh, like we used to pass for the right side and pass to the left side, like uh, uh, we used to kick from the right foot and kick f uh, from the uh, left foot in the practices, this has to be done as well. So Kaka did this and he had space out wide because all the defense were up and uh, it's a three on uh, three situation. Uh, so these things needs to be looked at in the future of the sevens. It's all uh, open for all the schools, the clubs and the national team. So those are the two uh, analyses we looked up for this weekend's uh, Dialogue Rugby League and some uh, international chip-in. And until next week, I'm Sabir Kadha signing off for the Poverty.com, sharing the passion. Sweet.